All right, let's see what she says. Zira's looking for you didn't seem too happy. Nothing you did. She's just stiffer than normal. And that saying is something. Did she say why? You know of our botched raid on Magnifica Palora's tomb. But the Iron Wheel is here to recover her missing dowry. So if we didn't take it, who did? Good question. Zira wants answers. She's in the den. Go on now. All right, I'll be here there then. You know where to find Zira. Always staring <clears throat> at papers in the den she is. Um, what do you know about the heist, anyways? I know Zira doesn't like to talk about it. Lost the best of the guild to that folly. Nicholas thought he could steal Magnifica Flora's dowry from her family tomb. What happened? Nicholas was wrong. Everyone died but Zira. For a guildmaster, he should have known better than to bet everything on a single haste. Best you don't repeat that to Zira. Yeah, I mean, I'll keep my mouth shut for sure. But I don't understand why the Iron Wheel thinks we stole the dowry, though. Someone pinned the blame on the guild. Yeah, I know that. I used to think the Iron Wheel wanted revenge for us trespassing in Magnifica Palora's family tomb. But Chief Inspector Ranbik is after the missing <coughs> dowry. You heard it yourself. No idea who really took it. No idea why. Why is the Iron Wheel so concerned about the dowry anyways? You think I know a lick about dowries? You trying to flex on me? A dowry is like a bar tab. It's the promise of available drinks, not the drinks themselves. But if there was no tab, why would anyone go to that bar, you see? Good. That's one of us. Goodbye. Okay, so I gotta go back to the guildmaster then, I suppose. Since she is looking for me. It's like a ton of side quests around. Oh, look. Back to the tomb. <laughs> Your plan is to relive the guild's greatest failure? My plan is to get the Iron Wheel's boot off our necks. Hello, Zira. Good, you're here. I want to learn whether Magnifica Flora's dowry was truly stolen from her family tomb. If it was, we find out who did. And if it wasn't, we complete the heist that Nicolas began. What's she gonna do? Send a second iron wheel? Maybe. But how will we do that? <coughs> we return to Aldenobia tomb, bypass the deadliest traps I've ever encountered, and then scour the treasure vaults for anything we can find. Sounds extremely dangerous. I'm in. When do we leave? <laughs> I appreciate the confidence, but too many good people died there the first time. We do this right or we don't do it at all. Okay. I'm listening. Perseus Lope can give us an edge. He's one of the few living people to set foot in Magnifica Valora's family tomb. Take Quinn and collect him from his shop. Meet the rest of us on the road to Tanith by Prince's Gate. Can Perseus Locke be trusted, though? I guarantee Perseus Locke is no friend of the Iron Wheel. He's expecting you at the Diamond Thimble. And he'll be insufferable if you keep him waiting. What can you tell me about the diary he uh, dowry heist, anyways? Nicholas thought his plan to steal the dowry was almost flawless. But almost won't bring our friends back. He didn't have the right people for the job, but I do. So, how did the diary... Heist fail. Nicholas knew of the dangers within, but not everything. There was a trap. We... I didn't understand how it worked. Not until it was too late. But this time, I know how it works. And I'll need you by my side to defeat it. Defeat it? So I'm assuming it's a boss? Or some sort of a guardian type thing? So why isn't Perseus Loke a friend of the Iron Wheel? Perseus Loke once served Magnifica Flora. When she wore the clothes he designed, she was the envy of Tanith society. But there was a scandal, and he fled here, beyond Tanith's reach. 
I don't know exactly what happened, but I do know he blames her. What do you know of Magnifica's, uh, Magnifica Flora? <clears throat> She's the heir to the Aldenobia bloodline. Her eldest sister, Zarifa, wed King Baharajad. After Zarifa's death, Ballora and the king grew close. But not close. They call her the Jewel of Tanith. Beautiful, cold, and hard as a diamond. I'm not sure I'm following here, but okay. Off to find Percy's Lake. Meet you there, partner. Everyone else, for pack sure, for Quinn. a long journey. I'll bring us home safe and sound. More promises you can't keep. I mean, Velsa does have a point there. That's not really a promise you can make. Okay. Let's go. You care to earn a little extra coin on the side? Absolutely it's not. You over here. Nope. I'm ignoring you. That's the beginning, I've said this before in one of the previous videos, but that's the beginning of the uh, Dark Brotherhood quest line. Which I'm not gonna start quite yet. So, where... Where are we headed? Doesn't see... Is it in here? I actually don't really see it, so... We're gonna have to basically... Figure it out as we go along here. He, she did say at the diamond place, and we've been there before. This is gonna hurt. It's okay though. Yeah, we've been there before. That's where we got our outfit, our original outfit from. The diamond thimble. That's what it was. Oh crap! What? Maybe the clerk can tell us what happened. What happened? You know what I'm gonna do? I got an idea. Costumes. There's a Thieves Guild outfit that I got for a long time ago. I think it was for coming here to be honest, but... Where is it? I got a ton of stuff, if it's not already obvious. Did I get a Thieves Guild outfit? I don't know. I'm kind of tripping out right now. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't. Shrouded? No, that's... That's Dark Brotherhood. Thieves Guild Leathers. That's what it was. Pretty hideous, but... It's okay. You gotta fit the part. A formal complaint. What right has the Iron Wheel to march in here and smash our merchandise? Thugs. Thugs and hooligans. This one doesn't know. Where can we find Perseus Loke? That's exactly what the Iron Wheel said. But much louder and with the shaking of fists. When they bellowed his name, I heard a loud crash upstairs. A loud crash? What do you mean? What happened? A distraction, <coughs> of course. The Iron Wheel rushed upstairs as he slipped down through some loose floorboards. But he landed feet first in a tub of bright dye. Covered his boots to the brim. I see it. It's right there. It's pretty bright. That actually kind of does. It kind of sticks out, like almost like if the texture's over the game itself. It, it doesn't look very well. But anyways, Perseus Loke is leaving a trail of bright dye through uh, Ba's landing. That's also what the Iron Wheel said. Most of them gave chase. The rest tossed the room upon the floor and then gave chase. If you find him before they do, tell him Mamea deserves a raise. Will do. You follow Loke's trail on the street. I'll see if I can spot him from the rooftops. Hurry! Alright, Gwen. <clears throat> I mean, it's not going to be very hard to follow. The footsteps are pretty freaking bright. Although, they are actually kind of hard to see somehow. I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Alright, up here... This way. Well, oh, he's under attack. Don't mind me, sir. I'm on a mission. 
Uh, I'm assuming he went this way. Yep, there he goes. Did he jump down? Is that Velsa? It is Velsa. Come here. We have business. No. Although I am curious. This way, maybe? I don't want to jump down. Well, never mind. Luckily, it worked to my advantage. Because I landed pretty much right there where I was supposed to be. But I didn't want to jump down until I knew for sure he went down, th down this way. <laughs> Alright. This dude traveled far. Completed. Oh, there he is. You look like an absolute moron. Ah, a friendly face. Yes, Good hi. Good you to join me on my unexpected jog. And I agree, this isn't my color. So, I gotta ask, why exactly did the Iron Wheel come for you? They must know of my previous involvement with your guild, though I can't begin to fathom how. Your former guildmaster, Nicholas, was it? He was the soul of discretion. We should get moving. We're headed to uh, the sure tomb. And <clears throat> I am prepared to give Abar's landing a wide berth. I'd prefer to avoid the Iron Wheel, at least for the time being. Zira mentioned a rendezvous by Prince's Gate, was it? I'd feel safer were someone to escort me there. Quinn could get you there safely. Wherever she is. Oh, there she is. Perseus Loke? I'll get you to Prince's Gate, safe and sound. Would Good you for you, Quinn. have a spare set of boots? I don't think mine will fit you. Come along, we'll work something out. Okay. Talk to Ziera. Are we going back to the guild? I am not... No, we're not going back to the guild. We're going somewhere else. Oh, we're going to the tomb, I'm assuming. So this isn't it. This is a delve. I'm not trying to go to a delve right now. How do I get up there, though? And then this is... This can't be it. Okay, so this is definitely it here. Are these bad guys? Oh, that's Quinn. It feels like everyone's here. Look, Quinn's here. Need a break. Walk softly. Don't know who that guy is, but sure, why not? There goes Velsa. And Ziera. Literally everyone's here. Bastion's here. Accounted for. Did you have any trouble? I mean, nothing I couldn't handle. Then we leave for the kingdom of Tanith. The route is tricky and we'll be considered bandits if we're caught. But getting to the tomb isn't what worries me. If anything happens, well, it won't. Because I can count on you. Ready? Uh, before we go, I have some questions about, uh, the, the tomb. What about it? What can we expect to find in there? Devious traps, vicious guardians, and likely, at the end of it all, a vault full of dust. At least we won't have to worry about the iron wheel. Okay. What do you think about going back? I'd rather sit in the den with a bottle of wine and drink until Andari says I've had too much. <laughs> but I'm in charge, so it doesn't matter what I think. It matters that we go. Alright, I'm ready to head into the tomb then. Oh, we just straight up fast travel there. This should be interesting for sure. Oh look, who it is? Perseus Locus here too. If I may, 
There is an alternate path inside the tomb. It is likely full of traps, guardians, and prodigious quantities of dust. <laughs> A small price to avoid the iron wheel. How do we get there? Head to the tomb entrance. <clears throat> Keep watch to the side of the path, the right side. You should notice an old trail leading to a sealed entrance. Simply clear the way, and I shall join you to open the door. Can you lead me through? Oh my, no. <laughs> the things inside would most certainly kill me. I do know the trick to the door's hidden latch. The rest, I'm certain you can handle yourself. Okay. Hey, Zira. The last time I was here, the Iron Wheel wasn't camped in front of the tomb. Perfect. So what should we do then? Scout ahead and find us a way inside. Clear the way if you care to. The Iron Wheel can't exactly call for reinforcements. You could also sneak past them. We'll track your progress and follow in your footsteps. Is there another way inside? That's why we brought Perseus Loke. He said something about a side entrance. Yeah, I got that. Him before you go. I already did. Alright, I'll get us inside. Do we have... Is... Can we sneak through here? We're gonna get... We're so gonna get caught. We are so going to get caught. I think this is the way he said. Right? There it is. One moment and I'll <clears throat> have it open. I hope. Well, at least he's coming in useful. There we are. Watch for traps in there. The Yokudins did love their traps. His outfit is super sick, though. Not gonna lie. So it's just me and Bastion then. What? 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 What's up, buddy? You want some too, buddy? You want some? Oh, this guy does. Come here. Victory. Good job, Bastion. He's an awesome tank. Ah! I gotta stop falling for those. Let me see. Is there anything over here? No. Why? Why do I always fall for that? Oh, hello. Ow. What's up, buddy? Huzzah. Huzzah it is. Ow. I'm never not gonna fall for that, I swear to God. No, drop this. Where'd he go? I don't like that sound. Alright. So far so good, right? Bypass the pillars? Oh no, it's a puzzle, isn't it? She knows how to do everything in this place. Unless it's stealing a dowry. No idea. Last time, Nicholas had me watch the passage behind us. There must be something in his journal. Anything useful? Nicholas loved his puzzles. You're welcome to try. I do not want to read any of this. The text has uh, faded with the passage of time. What about over here? Texas faded with the passage of time. Do they all say the same thing? Texas faded with the passage of time. Oh wait, faded text of ac ac something of the blade. 
Symbol of the pride. Pass, uh, pun through the scholar. What is this one? Bulls the serpent. So... I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna Google this real quick. <clears throat> because otherwise, we're gonna be here for a very long time. So. Let me see. So, this one should be a scroll. Okay, so scroll warrior. And then a stick. So that should be, that should be right, then snake. Snake, warrior. And then sword. Hey! Nothing like cheating. <laughs> well done. Oh, I wanted to hear what she Let's said. Go. Hello? Is there any more traps here? Because I don't want to get hit. Whoa. Bastion, get out of that, dude. You're going to get in trouble. Do they all explode when you get close to them? Yeah, they do. That's interesting. Oh, we're here. The journal says this chasm is called Shinji's Truth. Last time, we never made it across. I can't see the bottom. Is there a bottom? Throw yourself in. We'll see how long before we hear the splat. Quen, walk softly. Look for hidden doors or switches. Belsa, you're with me. I need your help to walk Maluk's path. And what of your protege? Watching my back, should anyone try to stab it. Let's go. She's not very trusting. All right, Malak's path. Where'd she go? She's fast. All right, hello, Velsa. There you are. Hi, Velsa. Forgive me, my old friends. Or is the air? Excuse what me. What did you say? Nothing. Velsa, do you see that panel? Put your hand on it until I say otherwise. For what reason? When I set foot on Malak's path, an aura of light will surround me. Darkness cannot harm us as long as you touch the panel. So, what can harm you? We could fall to our deaths, or the creatures within could devour us. Well creatures. then, enjoy yourselves. Felsa knows what to do, but we should speak before we cross. Sounds like a plan. On the other side of Maluk's path is Tall Papa's Ewer, a very fancy name for a big base. According to the journal, we'll need sacred ashes from inside the base to reach the treasure vaults. So, this is it. We should... We should get going. Zierra, what's wrong? This is where they died. Edda, Dalder, and Nicholas. Swallowed by the darkness. <coughs> I'm sorry, I can't talk about this. No use reliving the past. Or regretting it. Look, I respect you as our leader and all. But I'm not setting foot into the darkness until you tell me what to expect. That's fair. Talking about it might calm my nerves. The darkness is unnatural. Breathe it in and it sickens you. To make things worse, the guardians on the path attack anyone not of Denobia's bloodline. And then there's the path itself. What about the path? It twists and turns. You don't know where you're going until you're out there. You'll see what I mean. 
Keep your wits about you. Stay with me inside the light and we'll make it through. I won't let anyone else die in here. <sighs> Alright, I'm ready. Here we go. Don't wander, or the darkness itself will flay you alive. Oh god. Bastion, stay close before you die, buddy. If I roll, I'm dead. So, we're going this way. I saw that guy a mile away. My god, Zierra. I'm not trying to die here. Not today, at least. We're still moving. Keep holding the panel. Luckily, these guys are not very tough. But, uh, walking here is kind of scary. I feel like one wrong move and I'm dead. <gasps> that was close. That was super freaking close. I'm scared to move. Like, legitimately, I'm like paranoid at this point. Ida? Dalder? What happened to their bodies? And where is Nicholas? I could hear their screams as I held the switch. I had to do something. I, I couldn't. This is a dead end. Let's turn back. There must be another way we missed. There's no end to the darkness. Zero. It sounds like she's involved in their deaths. Don't you dare release that panel. Oh, snap. That scared the hell out of me. We're going to die. We're still going to die. And it's okay. I guess I'm ready for it. Don't antagonize it. That's kind of creepy. At least we're we're pretty much here. <coughs> Victory is cruel. Defeat is worse. Hey, we made it. I gotta see some real quick. We made it. That must be the vase. Sorry. Tall Papa's. Wait, that lamp belonged to Nicholas. I watched it go out. I heard him die. Alora must have come here to investigate. She could have picked it up and brought it here. Nicholas couldn't have survived. Maybe. So I got the Tall Papa's thing. That lamp definitely belonged to Nicholas. How can you be certain? I procured it for him. Is that right? I saw him drop the lamp. It hit the path and went out. And all I remember is darkness and pain. Were you on the path? I thought you were holding the panel. I... I... Just grab the ashes so we can leave. I don't want to spend any more time in this place. She's full of crap, dude. Bring the ashes. We should return to Quen and walk softly. She's full of crap. She did something. Well, that's not. Be careful with those. She did something, dude. I think she's responsible for the deaths. Which is kind of sad. If that's the case. Velsa? You could let go of the panel. I know what you did. What? <gasps> I know how they died. How you killed them. That's low, Velsa. Even for you. Always had to be the hero. Be the Guildmaster's darling. You're cracked. I didn't need anyone's approval. You held the panel. From here you saw the creatures closing in. 
You thought you could save them, only you. So you released the panel, grabbed your weapon, rushed out to meet them. I could have saved them, because in your head, you are the hero. But the light faded. The darkness rushed in and ate them alive. <coughs> I tried to reach them, and the darkness tried to eat you alive. So you had to recover from your wounds. That's why you didn't return to Abad's landing. At least not soon enough. I crawled from the tomb. The darkness. You can't imagine the pain. You were the only one who could have warned the guild. Who could tell them the Iron Wheel was coming. Felsa, stop. Zira. Damn. You were never the hero. You were always a thief. Now, you're just... Damn, dude. So it wasn't... She didn't have... It's not that she had bad intentions. This is she just made a very stupid decision. That got people killed. Not just people. Everyone. Everyone that mattered in the guild, apparently. What the hell? Quen, it's a bad idea. Words escape me. Someone tell me what I'm seeing. We heard strange noises in the chasm. Stone grinding against stone. Quen, well... I found this invisible bridge. So you followed my advice and threw yourself into the chasm. The ashes. Spread them on the bridge to see where it leads. And Quen, get back from there. Oh, that's that's definitely interesting. Yeah. So where does this? Oh, this way. I'm not trying to die here, so you better not take me somewhere that's gonna get me killed. We made it. Clear the way. We'll be right behind you. Of course. Just let me deal with this freaking gargoyle all by myself. Look at Bastion go. That's the last of them. Good. Come on, Bastion. Since nobody else wanted to help. The door to the treasure vaults, just through this crypt. We made it. Do all crypts come with whatever that is? Every tomb needs a guardian. An old Yokudin saying, wasn't it? Your introduction is formless and without grace. Recite Denovia's maxim. That's alarming. Felsa, Quen, walk softly. Stay back. If it's hostile, we'll handle it. Recite Denovia's maxim, or you shall be deemed trespassers. It must be some kind of passphrase. If you have any ideas, now's the time to call them out. You can't see. I kind of want to fight him. Falora. Yakuda. Passphrase. Uh, Gaiden Shinji. He said passphrase. Elsa, you aren't even trying. Trespasser. The Nobius justice. Well. What's up, buddy? Too too simple. That was supposed to be that the boss. Yes, it did. You're right. I honestly thought it would kill us all. Come on, let's see what's in the treasure vaults. Wait for me. You guys clearly need my combat efficiency. Or effectiveness, I should say. What's this? Coded map? Coded map? Let me see that. Nicholas used half maps like this. Thin overlays placed atop existing maps. You line them up with common points of reference. Torn journal page. That page? Is it from the journal Nicholas kept? Tuwaka watches over you. The passphrase for the crypt, Guardian? I merely had it. Hmm. wrong with that skeleton? Missing its head. Looks like it was hacked off. 
must have been done by whoever stole the dowry. But why desecrate a skeleton? I don't know, Gwen. I don't know. Zira, what do you have to say about this? He survived somehow. <clears throat> he came here and took Magnifica for Laura's dowry for himself. I don't want to believe it, but that's how it seems. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something? I mean, we found a page from his journal. It had the passphrase for the Crypt's Guardian. This huh. is his handwriting. But it could have been taken from his journal by someone else. The skeleton must be Denobia herself. This is her tomb, after all. I don't see what it has to do with Nicholas, missing skull or not. Huh. Alright, well, what kind of, uh... What of the half map? Velsa and Nicholas used th those before. Three points on this sheet. Nicholas always used Abaz Landing and Noshira Citadel as a reference. If I line up those two points... Well now, the third point is in Hughes Bane, out in the middle of nowhere. If Nicholas did steal the dowry, why would he leave it, uh, leave this here? Trash he left behind? Three dots on a page are meaningless unless you know the trick. The only people who did were dead on Maluk's path. Head to Hughes Bane. If Nicholas does have a hideout in the desert, it's time we crack it open. I mean, I agree. But that's interesting. Is he actually still alive? I guess we're going to be finding out here shortly. So I got to be careful because, of course, we know that the bad people are here. Also, we've... Ow. We actually went full circle. Come on, Bastion, be careful. We're not trying to start trouble here. Or maybe we should, I don't know. It'll be a lot more fun that way. C camel! Uh, the camel stares at you. Return to a boss landing? Absolutely. Looks like everyone's back here with me. So, where exactly is it? So, it's way out here. We're actually going to put a map marker right there because I want to discover that way shrine. Is there only right three in this place? Yeah, so we're going to get all three of them right now. Uh-oh. Run! Bastion, take care of my lightweight. Okay, well... I discovered this place. Hey, I found, uh... Dunzo. How many are there in this place? There's six of them. We don't really need them, though, the, to be honest. Because we kind of, sort of, already got everything we need. Right? Maybe. Get away from me! It found me. I don't need this active anymore. Okay, well, we're gonna get down and dirty. I was getting, like, this very bad frame drops right there. It's horrible. Felt like I wanted to cry in the process. Okay, so we gotta go straight. <clears throat> this whole story is... It's pretty interesting. I don't really like Abaz Landing, though. The city itself seems a little confusing for me. It might just be me, though. I want to kill him. Or her, I mean. Bastion over here. I'm not afraid of you. You shouldn't be. You're a freaking tank. Do I have to break in? I guess I gotta break in. Got it. Trespass. I'm sure there was a key somewhere, but... Oh well. 
Search Nicola's Desert Retreat. Stack of papers. The money and documents were delivered to Lady blah 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 as expected. Something palace is now leased solely to my holdings. It shall serve as a good base of operation. Kosh! Papers. Signed by Kosh? What are those doing here? Maybe... Maybe he didn't survive. And Kosh is just setting him up. Nicholas even after his death. disguise kit just like this one. In fact, this is his disguise kit. Huh. Ancient Yakutan coins, stamped with the likeness of Denobia. <clears throat> Those must be from the dowry. It's interesting. Look closely. There's a hollow crystal with... Is that blood inside? Whose blood? Hmm. I know how Nicola survived Maluk's path. You do? How? The crystal must contain Aldenobia blood. Maluk's path would ignore you if you held it. You'd need a lamp to find your way through the darkness so you could grab a handful of ashes. From there, all you'd need is the Crypt Guardian's passphrase. Which he already had. The Denobia coins were definitely from the tomb. And you said that disguise belonged to Nicholas. I've seen enough. <clears throat> Nicholas faked his death and stole the dowry. Now he's working with that merchant lord, Kosh. I think I mourned that bastard. What are you going to do? Nicholas would have kept such a thing from the guild. The less they know, the less trouble they'll cause. But I'm going to tell the Thieves Guild. I want them to cause a world of trouble. And I want to lay it all on his doorstep. Let's go. All right. Well, I'll meet you at the den. Man. How do I get out of here? Oh, right here. Main hall. I can't believe Nicholas faked his death. Kind of impressive if you ask me. Because everybody fell for it. So, I think... I think I'm just gonna go to this way shrine and fast travel with my super slow horse. I think I need a new horse though. Let me see. What would look good? Bipedal, camel. I think I'm just going to go with a regular horse. Wait, what is this one? Gross. That one's ugly. Should I just go with the regular surreal horse? I think I'm just going to go with the regular surreal horse just because it's brown. Kind of fits my outfit pretty well. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go back to the den. Let me go. We got all three of the uh, way shines unlocked too, so we could we could officially maneuver around this whole zone, no problem. Wandering a city streets with no destination. Yes, Bastion. You literally say the same stuff all the freaking time. It's kind of annoying, actually. I like you as a companion. I hate the stuff you say. You and Miri both. It is the den I'm supposed to go to, right? I guess we're going to find out here shortly. Do I... Oh, yeah, it is here. I wonder if she already told everybody. Hey, gotta talk to you. I told the guild <clears throat> about Nicholas betraying us. 
Lok softly took it in stride. Quen gave me a hug and Elsa walked off without a word. All in all, better than expected. So what's the next step for the Thieves' Guild? The Iron Wheel is a hurricane that blew into port and smashed everything in its path. Nicholas and Kosh are the ones who set it in motion. Now, we learn what they hold most dear. Then, we take it from them. Okay. Nicholas taught me how to be a thief. I knew him for over a decade. Trusted him. Not much else to say, is there? Uh, I want to talk about what happened at the tomb. <clears throat> what about? So, it was pretty obvious that Velsa blamed you for what happened at the uh, Malak's path. Velsa was right, and I don't say that lightly. I am responsible. Edda and Dalder died because of my mistake. Nicholas. I can only pray his death is far worse than what happened to the others. I don't know. The other's death was, uh... It's kind of bad. Do you have any idea of what Nicholas uh, planned? No. They seemed a bit distant before we first went to Aldenobia tomb. But it was also the biggest heist we'd ever pulled off. Nothing prepared me for this. That's crazy. Let's see what we get out of this. It's all stuff we already have. Okay, so the next question is down here, it looks like. Same person, of course, as always. So let's go ahead and talk to her and see what happens. There you are. I've got news for you. Really? Okay. 